Hi everyone, my name is Ioannis Stanifandakis and in this video I'm going to talk to you about implementing listeners using Java interfaces by Android example. And more specifically, about how making intent calls from inside an activity when the async task class is at a separate file. I have created an article related to this video at my personal blog, but also at medium.com, the links of which you can find at the video notes below. But before we begin, why choose Android's async task to demonstrate how to create listeners via Java interfaces? Well, there are several reasons, but two are the main. Firstly, because this is a real case scenario with async task in Android. And uh, secondly, because in Android, you will need to perform this technique in several more cases, like implementing click listeners with adapters for the view holder items of a recycler view. So, a short intro, a sync task, what is it? Well, a sync task allows you to easily create background thread operations that at some point need to inform your activity's UI thread to do something. As you can see in the graph, Google has taken away much of the load and provides us with some methods that communicate with either the UI thread or with a background thread. One such communication with the UI thread is on the on post execute, which will take the result of whatever we did in our background when we have finished and make something on the UI thread with that result. If you have ever use the sync task class, you will definitely have seen it as an inner class to your activity. And it's pretty straightforward way to use it. Now, let's see an example implementation from the Google developer side. In this example, we will uh, get a few URLs from which we will download data. For each URL that we download, when we have finished downloading it, we will call the publish progress. This publish progress will, in fact, trigger the on progress update on the UI thread to uh, display, let's say, a progress bar that shows that we have downloaded, you know, that amount. And when we have finished downloading, uh, the on post execute will just be called, which uh, will inform the UI thread that. I have finished and I've gotten some result and do something with that result. In our case, the result will be the amount of total bytes that were downloaded. And because this runs on the UI thread, we can directly in here uh, uh, type show dialog so that we show a dialog that displays the amount of bytes that were downloaded when we have finished downloading from the background our files. And we simply call it by, you know, calling the calling the a class, a new, new instance of that class with a dot .execute. Now, um, this is a, a good scenario to start considering what would happen if we had two, um, let's say, two uh, activities that would need to download files. Well, in that case, um, this could be very common. But what, what would we do? One approach would be to simply make a copy of the async task on each activity. So simply copy paste it, which for many reasons we can uh, say that this is a very bad uh, way to code things. Another thing would be to simply take the async task class and move it outside the activity so that we generalize and uh, put it uh, on a, a Java file of its own. But what happens then on the on post execute? How would the on post execute know which activity to inform the UI? And let's say if we wanted to do something that is based on the context of that activity, what then? Well, this is where the interfaces come to play. We have seen the problem, okay? And we see how to approach the solution. So 
the Java interfaces, we will explore the basics of listeners and show you how any activity that implements the My Custom Async Task interface will be able to receive whatever the output of the async task and make uh, its own on post execute variation. So, what we do here, there's three things that need to be done. On the async task class, we need to declare an interface and then utilize it on the on post execute. And finally, on the activity itself, we just need to call our, um, our async task class and um, override the uh, method that was declared on its interface. And because this might seem a little strange at first, I will show you code to understand exactly what's going on. So here, we create a class that we call endpoints async task, which extends the async task. It does something on the background and it has an on post execute that gets a resulted string. Now, since we want to generalize us, you can see there is no activity here. It is an async task class on its own. We will declare an interface here. And on that interface, we will uh, create an on task complete. We will declare a, a method called on task complete, which will need to take the same parameters as the parameters we have in our on post execute. Now, for that interface that we declared, we simply create a member variable, which we initialize by uh, this um, constructor method of our endpoint async task. Now, all the magic is in this line. This member variable dot our um, declaration of interface with the given string is what we need. And we will utilize it here. Here we have um, an activity that will make use of this async task. At some point, we simply uh, call this async task. And when this async task is called, uh, we will create it with uh, a new task complete listener, which will create the only method that is declared in that interface. And then we will simply put our code for whatever we want to do here. So let me say it again. We create a new async task as we would with a dot execute as if we had it inside our, uh, with an inner class, okay? But the only difference is that we create it uh, by putting into the uh, constructor uh, a new uh, endpoints, uh, a new uh, task complete listener. And this is what we have here. That will override the only method declared on our interface which will return the same type of output as the on post execute, as you see here. And then we do whatever we want with that result. So we have generalized and we can make really anything we want now. We can have any number of uh, activities utilizing the same async task without any problem. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very, very much for joining.